I'm Scott Allen Miller. It is the 15th of May, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life living in Nicaragua. And today we've got Kemi and Lisa and Luciana are here. Everybody say hi. Hi. We are in the car. We're doing the intro from here because it has been a busy morning, but we're doing a mini road trip today. We are heading to Chinandega and our hope, of course, this is Nicaragua, so we have no way to look up exactly when things are open or not, but we are trying to go out to dinner at an Asian restaurant that we want to show to you guys. And we are going to the museum, we hope, if they're open, uh, which they say they are, but we're gonna find out when we get there. So this might be an adventure, not just for you guys, but for us figuring out what we're going to do when we get to Chinandega. So we're heading up north, we'll see it from the road. <music> was closed but they told us it's going to be open on monday and we thought it looked fantastic you'll see a glimpse of it as we get to the end of this drive so i'm going to show this because we're really awkward on footage today and we're just going to work with this so you have something cool to look at this is heading north out of leon i think it's fantastic we're going to show uh our dinner at dragonfly in chinandega which is we ate right next to where the museum is this evening so you're going to see that and we're going to do some street elote that we filmed the other day uh in the park we didn't get to show it before so we're going to put that on the show today and we're going to show a an art gallery downtown that kemi and i discovered uh and a little bit of footage from parque ruben dario at night with the fountains on which i was able to take the other night so we're kind of putting together a number of things that have been missing from the show over the last week or two uh, and i wanted to include them for you so today's kind of a catch-all while we tried to do something really cool for you and failed miserably so while we're doing this drive i'm going to do a q a from a post that Fernando Mofrita put, and here we go. I'd like to know the following, please. Is the local tap water safe to drink, cook, and brush our teeth with? Teeth with? Yes, absolutely. Basically everywhere in Nicaragua and really Central America, tap water is safe. Don't worry. People drink it all the time, including in Managua. That's what people just drink. Now, a lot of people use bottled water, not for safety, just because they like the taste better. Are bachelor apartments or single rooms for rent popular and easy to find? I don't know if they're really popular, but they do exist for sure. And they would fall under a student apartment type place uh, or simply a really small apartment, but absolutely they do exist. Uh, you can also get small houses. These will actually start depending on where you wanna be uh, as low as like $90 per month that I've seen. Um, and then of course spending closer to 150, uh, but that's kind of the range for something if you're looking for something really basic and small and not in a tourist neighborhood. How is the local medical, dental, and eye care services costs? It's excellent. I mean, honestly, it's so cheap that if you're coming from someplace like the US or Canada or the UK, where everything is quite expensive, obviously the US is much more expensive than those others. They're often free, but hard to obtain. Um, services are widely available and insanely affordable. Uh, we'll, I have a few different videos we've done on that, but in-house doctor visits with medicine, with a nurse, $85. Um, emergency room visits for major things, many doctors involved, uh, ambulance trips, 180 to $190, right? So things you can pay out of pocket, so much cheaper than insurance in the US or, or somewhere, somewhere like that. How much are prescription and sunglasses? This I don't really know. They are quite affordable, but I've not been directly involved. Um, I have a lot of friends who've had to get them. Um, my wife has gotten them. I just haven't been involved enough to, to say other than it's, it's way cheaper than you're gonna be used to pretty much anywhere, but I don't know the actual cost. How is the visa situation for expats? So we have a number of videos on this. I really suggest watching some of those, uh, but the, the tourist visa is automatic and you can renew by simply crossing the border. So that one gives you the 90 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30. And depending on where you enter, like El Salvador, it can be an immediate 180 days, but it's essentially a 180 day visa. You cross the border for as little as 10 minutes as I've done, and you get another 180 days. And you can do that for a while 
while eventually when they decide it's time for you to stop doing that, they will tell you you need to uh, work on getting uh, residency. Residency is relatively easy as well. There's a retirement one that's that's quite easy if you're truly retired. There's an investment one which is not hard but does cost a bit of money because you do need to meet investment minimums. Uh, and of course, you can marry someone in the country and that is quite easy if you manage to find someone you want to marry. Um, and of course, that they want to marry you. Uh, but visa just to come and stay for years um, and often indefinite is ridiculously easy to the point where you'll not even notice that it's going on for most for most uh, uh, accounts. Uh, how to open a bank account. You can do this in general, you don't. Um, and in general, you don't want to. It's not a big deal. You you probably don't want to have a bank account. Everyone thinks they do. Uh, but then when you ask why they want it, it's because they want to do something and they think it uses a bank account when it doesn't. In most cases, you're going to want to keep a bank account in your foreign country, wherever your money's coming from, and just use that. That's what I do. I do not have a bank account here. It is not a problem. Uh, is the country in general safe? Yes, incredibly safe. That is one of the reasons you come here. How is the local dating scene for a man in his 60s? I'd say pretty darn good. Um, if you're coming from some place in North America or Western Europe, um, you're going to be an oddity. You're going to be a bit exotic here. Uh, in general, the dating scene here is pretty good, I would say. I know a lot of people who are actively dating and um, especially, you know, being um, a, a man who of you know, getting closer to retirement age, um, there, there's going to be a, a large selection. A lot of people are going to be looking for that. How about the age gap difference locally? Um, uh, I don't really know how to answer that, but in general, I'd say the way that age gaps are seen here is very different than in North America. Um, it is completely normal and no one would think anything of people with 20, 30, even 40 year uh, age gaps. Are diamond engagement rings the norm? Um, no idea. I've never heard of someone having one. So I'm going to guess no. I don't think engagement rings at all um, are a norm here. How much are ATM money withdrawal fees? Um, pretty pretty normal. I think it's about $4 is what we pay, which is a little bit high, but it's, it's really not bad. Um, be nice if I did an, a detailed alternative ways of transferring money. I mean, it's MoneyGram, it's uh, Western Union and that stuff. And we've arrived at the museum. It is the time for the uh, the restaurant. We're going to head over there. We're coming into the Plaza Feriones here. This is a beautiful hotel complex with a lot of really nice restaurants, including the French one we just showed. And this is Dragonfly, an Asian fusion restaurant that we like a lot in Chinadega that everyone is going into here. Uh, we um, This is right next to the museum, which unfortunately was closed. Here's the menu. You guys asked for menus. I wanted to show this. This is an expensive restaurant. This is one of the fancier places around, a big menu and some really good stuff. We got there quite early because we were trying to go to the museum. So it's, it was empty when we started and full when we left. A uh, really nice place. Here we are waiting for the food. And uh, it's we've always enjoyed our dinners here. Um, the appetizers went really fast. Crab Rangoons and tuna nachos. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, mostly Asian fare, but you can get steaks, you can get sandwiches, you can even get pizza and pasta. It's a really large menu, a really big selection, which is, which is quite nice. Um, and, and for the most part, everything's been quite good. One of the reasons we come here is it has one of the largest sushi menus in uh, Nicaragua Occidental, uh, Western Nicaragua, that is Leon and Chinandega Departamentos. I cannot eat elotes. I have a beard. I have a beard. Oh, I see. Is that misty? So you're putting it in the I, I eat like a baby. <laughs> right? And we're back in Leon. This is a couple days ago. Camille wanted to come out and try elote for the first time. So if you're used to elote in the United States, we actually use Spanglish. In the United States, if you order a lote, what you actually get is called esquites. Uh, esquites is, we're going to show that after this, is where the corn is cut off the cob and put into a cup. And the same basic ingredients are then piled on or layered in. And uh, But you, you're able to eat it. If you're someone like me with a beard, that works out fine. Elote okay. itself means corn on the cob. So if you order with the word elote <laughs> in anywhere in Latin America, you're yeah. going to get the full corn on the cob experience, which is what Camille is going to get here. And definitely here in Nicaragua, like in Mexico, 
it's pretty loco. Uh, we get this a lot as a ski taste. We don't normally get the full elote, uh, but the elote is the more popular overall. Uh, and certainly the more interesting to see and watch. <laughs> That's Go a happy it. corn. Go for it. Gibby is definitely a little bit scared here. It's a lot of flavor. It's so intense. Oh my god. So it is common for a lote and a skites to have barbecue, mayo, ranch, uh, <laughs> cheddar cheese sauce or a nacho cheese sauce, uh, oh cheese sprinkled on uh, spices. It's actually a little bit spicy. And of course, you can ask for any of those things not to be on there, but you are probably going to get by default a lot of flavor. I'm used to eat them only with butter and salt. This is a change for sure. It is an intense food experience. Now we got it just behind us. This is the Plaza La Merced. We are headed over to uh, the park benches so we can sit and eat it in the beautiful park here as the sun sets next to the Iglesia La Merced that you see there. This is a great place. This is like the elote spot in the city. All right, elote is really messy. So for those of you who are from the States, this is real elote. And this is what they call elote in Texas, but that's Spanglish. Elote literally means corn on the cob. So this is actually crazy, elote, elote loco. And this is actually called esquite. Uh, and this is what they do in the United States, thinking it's elote. It's very similar, but it's not as adventurous. <laughs> so we're here at La Merced. This is Parque La Merced. And just behind us is where the city always has elote carts. And in front of us is where Street Food Row is, where all the hamburger and Mexican places all line up. And they sell street food all night long, like the serious, famous Leonese street food. So that's just over there. And this is the, uh, the church, the Iglesia La Merced right beside us, really close to the center of downtown, very popular area. You can hear some of the band members still practicing in the background. And uh, always a busy park, but a lot of people come here to eat because there's so much food nearby. And it's a little bit more quieter than, uh, a little bit more quiet, a little bit quieter than the main central park. After eating our corn, we were walking back and actually discovered a little shopping mall that I've never been in before, even though I've been uh, to the, the restaurant right there to the right of it. That's Dulcemente, the uh, ice cream shop in Leon, right downtown. And we had seen a sign for an art gallery. So we just popped in and went through this little uh, inside mall thing that's like this is a, a popular way of having a small mall system that's actually a pupuseria right there that we can order from on Pedidos Ja and you go all the way through this there's a few empty stores here like so if you're looking at putting in a little store in Leon this is an easy spot uh, to do uh, but in this back corner you can see the light on there there's an art gallery so we went back there and we talked to them unfortunately the audio died uh, again this is the third time we were using the GoPro and it just didn't get audio on one of the recordings. It's uh, clearly on its last leg. But they had some beautiful artwork in here, but the prices are definitely, this is tourist prices. Um, they're not absolutely ridiculous, but some of these big paintings are listing at like five and $600, which is way out of line for normal Nicaraguan art prices. Uh, but they did have some beautiful stuff. It's a nice location. Uh, we're glad we stopped in. They showed us quite a few things. Uh, and they have a lot more affordable things. It's just the larger paintings were quite expensive. But it was neat that we stumbled on this little art gallery um, and were able to show it to you guys. We were not expecting to find this. And, and it's funny how many times I've walked past these little spots uh, and had no idea that the Pupuseria uh, or the art gallery were here in this little mall. 
So we're gonna head over to Parque Ruben Dario. This is actually on the night I was waiting for Kemi to arrive. Uh, she was coming in on the bus from Managua and I was waiting at the bus station uh, in town for her, the southern one, which is the gas station right by Parque uh, Ruben Dario. And we had not been able to get views of the fountains for you guys. So I saw that they were on, so I went, I grabbed some snacks, walked over and just filmed the park at night, which was really beautiful. I walked around a bit, it was great, but there are a ton of insects at the lights. They're not everywhere else, but you can see them by the lights. It's nuts uh and we're gonna leave it there for for today we're heading we hope tomorrow to hinotega to do some filming on a road trip for you so fingers crossed if you'd like to support the channel you can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash scott allen miller if you want to contact us i'll put the email address on there uh, if you're interested in relocation or anything like that as always like and subscribe tell your friends post on social media and we will see all of you tomorrow